Reif Schneider's Grill and Grape here in the village of Freeburg, Illinois, was one of the businesses named in a St. Clair County warning. Both of the owners and the mayor of the village of Freeburg questioned whether this warning was political payback. I got families that count on me, and I'm just not ready to give that up yet. I got too many people that I've known that are good people. I know their families, I know their kids, I've seen their kids grow, and I just can't shut down and just leave them all out on the street. They're worried. We're worried. They're like our family. Dan and Heather Reif Schneider are remaining open inside, despite orders for outside dining only. They are following every other health precaution. I can go and sit in a casino and be six foot apart from a guy playing slot machines, all night long, I can eat in the casino, but you can't come into this restaurant. I'll guarantee you this restaurant is cleaner than any casino in town. Last Friday, Village of Freeburg Mayor Seth Spicer got a warning letter about Reif Schneiders. They asked for my help in the shutting them down. The warning came one day after Fox 2 reported on St. Clair County Emergency Management Director Herb Simmons, who admitted he was breaking his own health warnings by rustling by night in groups with no mask. Listen to Simmons justify it because he breaks the rules out of town. We don't do it here because the state says we can't do it here. Simmons claims his behavior was allowed in Tennessee. Because I guess their mitigation is different. St. Clair County has taken no action against Simmons and declined my request to discuss it. Dan Reifschneider expressed his disapproval in last week's Fox 2 report and wonders if he's paying for it today. Pretty much all political payback. It looks bad for, for the county to send that letter out the next day. Um, if we'd have got that letter a week before anything was aired on TV, I'd say, yeah. The mayor added he will not be shutting down any Freeburg businesses that remain open on the inside, but he says he's confident they're following all other health guidelines. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.